In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble a Pi box from just the hacker bundle. The hacker bundle just includes the carrier board and the backplane and some screws and the power adapter. Everything on the right is items that you'll need to source and bring yourself. So this includes the two solid state drives for storage, the Raspberry Pi compute module itself, the 1.3 inch display. Um, you can use a Noctua fan. This is what we recommend for, for noise, for low noise and then also an optional Wi-Fi antenna. And these are about five bucks. Also, if you're building your own Pi box, you're going to want to bring your own case. So we provide the files for 3D printing your own case, but you can also purchase the metal enclosure separately from us. Regardless of which one you use, this is a two piece clamshell design. So the first thing we'll wanna do, if you have the display in hand, which again, this is optional as well, but if you do have this, you could insert the flat ribbon cable into the front of the back plane, like this. And this has a mechanism which will hold it in by friction. If you push that up, now that's uh, secure on that ribbon cable right there. So I recommend putting a thin piece of foam tape and you can get these double-sided foam tape pads on Amazon and leaving the backing on this side so it just barely touches the PCB. What that does is it puts enough pressure between the circuit board and the front of the case to hold the display in place. And so let's go ahead and see that in action right now. And we'll go ahead and stick our backplane inside of our case, kind of aligning the display, and then sticking the grooves of the case into the, into the backplane here, backplane circuit board. So with that in place, let's go ahead and secure that with these two hex head screws. And now we've got the front of our Pi box. So with that in place, the next thing we want to do is actually go ahead and insert the drives. Now the next thing we can do is assemble the fan, and this has a specific orientation. Make sure the fan blades, the open part of the fan is facing into the case, as well as the part of the fan that sticks out, the cable rather, make sure that goes towards the front of the case, this direction. That allows you to kind of tuck the cables away neatly uh, and not have a whole lot of excess left over. And so we'll go ahead and secure those with the screws. And these are four case, typical face case fan screws, and they will require a bit of pressure, or rather a bit of torque to insert, because what's happening here is they're actually tapping into the plastic of the fan itself. So it will require a bit of force. Go ahead and get one, and then you can get the rest pretty easily. With those in place, I'll show you just briefly how to tuck the cable in. So this goes kind of up towards the top and then tucked back down. And this is not super important, but it will make assembling the case a little easier. You wanna make sure that the cable's out of the way of the fan because this does get very close to the pie itself. Okay, and the final thing that we can do on this case is assemble the internal antenna mount. So there's brass retainer nuts that come off of there. And there's a flat side to this that aligns with the flat side of the case here. So this goes right above the USB-C port. And go ahead and stick that through. And 
and then just make this finger tight and you don't want to over torque this and twist it out of the case so with that assembled let's set this all aside now the next thing to do is to actually insert the Pi onto the carrier board and there is two orientations to this you can mess this up by sticking the Pi like that so make sure that the Pi actually does align with the silk screen on the carrier board and you'll notice the easiest way to do that is to tell that the, the easiest way to tell that it is aligned is to look at the antenna pattern here and line that up with the big square um, lack of copper on this on the carrier plane so that goes this way towards the front and it will require a bit of force don't worry you're not going to break anything by pushing down on either side and that's that's it so from here you will need a flash or raspberry pi we added a very simple toggle, which is between either normal mode or RPi boot mode. RPi boot mode lets you flash your Pi while it's in the carrier. And this is a tool that's provided by Raspberry Pi that you will need to install on your computer so that the Pi appears as a mass storage device or something similar to a flash drive so you can flash it. So go ahead and switch the boot mode switch to RPi boot, which is on the right, and then plug in a USB-C cable to the power port over here and one in into, into your computer. Here you'll notice just the red power light comes on. Once you launch the RPi boot utility on your computer, you'll notice the green activity light starts flashing and you'll see the Pi appear as a mass storage device or rather a flash drive on your computer. Once you do that, you can launch the Raspberry Pi Imager utility. And you can use this to flash your Pi box. We recommend downloading one of our custom images, which has all of the necessary hardware support built in. For storage, make sure you hit RPi MSD and hit write. This can take around 15 to 20 minutes. Once you're done, let's head back over to the Pi box case. Once you flash your Pi, you can switch the boot mode switch back to normal and insert the carrier board into the case of your Pi box. So with that assembled, that's everything you need to go ahead and install the top clamshell. So there's two pieces here that need to attach to the boards, the antenna cable and the fan cable. To do the antenna cable, let's set the top down and take this very small connector and attach it to the top of the Pi. Of course, a little bit of force, but it does snap in. And then, likewise with this fan cable, give it some slack, and this goes onto the back plane, just like that. So with the antenna cable, it's a little less important about how the, how the cable goes. It's organized, but with the fan cable, it does need to go up and to the side. And ideally, this part of it sits right on top of the HDMI cable. Here, kind of a satisfying snap when that all snaps into place. And notice there's no gap between the top clamshell and the front of the case. So that's everything that you need to do to assemble the Pi box except for the screws in the back. So with those in place, you're ready to roll. Now the only last thing to do is attach the Wi-Fi antenna. Now we can go ahead and plug it in. Powered on.